Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 3. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh, we're here at the end of the Stasis Wing. I know I'm wearing, uh, Force Gear, but that's because that asshole will totally steal my, uh, Stasis Power and use it to heal himself if the other guys are anything to go by. Did all of them have their own elements rippling over their bodies? I didn't notice. I mostly remember the parts where they beat me into the ground and tried to kill me. Like, uh, a million times in a row. Ow. Hmm, not a great start. Death. Fuck! Fuck! I hate that move! I wonder if he, like, throws the ice particles on the ground at me or something. See? You see? It always just looks like he had another punch, and then he delays for a second. Oops. Ow. Hatred! start. Got way closer earlier. Imagine you use a Wrath Shard for one second. You hate everything and everyone in the universe. Maybe like mainlining rage. That would have been really cool if I hadn't missed. Christ! Yeah, I'd say that's a nice bonus. 800 fucking damage? Is that what that said? Tell your brothers I thought they were pathetic. Again with that. Ah. Oh. No. I'll be back. Honestly though, this is kind of a pain in the ass getting back up there.
<laughs> just, you know, just because I have to do the wall jumpy thing every single time. that on. But he did. He stole the stasis power from me and cancelled the ice armor. I just wanted to point that out. That's awesome. And I say that's awesome because that's awesome. Not even like, I, it's cool that he can do that. It's just better because now I get to do this instead. uses the right arm, I need to get better at that. Hate. I'm just including this bit because, uh, uh, this camera angle is really neat. Yee. A great start. I'll admit it. Achieve an unlocked Soul Reaper. Collected one million souls. <laughs> this will be attempt number twenty six since the jump cut. Come on! Is that the best you've got? Got all fucked up there because I was uh, so focused on trying to get off the explosion. Ow.
Come on. hit me anyway, but I'll take advantage of it. love the timing on that. I've been saving something special for you. Sky... Scythes. Scythes of Scorn. Attune the Scythes of Scorn to the Stasis Hollow in the Weapons Inventory. <sighs> At last. Oh, that was grueling. Oh, Lord. Scythe of Scorn. Scorn becomes a reaping scythe, capable of splitting into two sickles at will while the stasis hollow is active. The scythe cuts through time and space, cleaving opponents in all planes of existence with a range of different attacks. Cleaving opponents in all. And with that, I am the master of all four elements. I don't know whether I like the sword or the scythe that's better. I guess this is the part where, uh, her brothers look at her very expectantly, huh? So now that all four of the, uh, the halls are done, this treasure thing in the middle should be done too, right? Right? 
Oh fuck, it's happening. Kind of thought it was just gonna open up, but that's even better, because it might be a link to- a link. A teleporter to a, like, gigantic treasure room, maybe? I'm just saying, it's a possibility. Flame, storm, force, stasis. I've got them all, and now it's time to reap my reward. Hmm. Oh, a green one. You have invaded the wrong realm. For that, you will pay. Oh, fuck. I was afraid of that. Oh. Oh, that's even worse. Now they're Voltroning. Your horseman is mistaken. Surprise, surprise. It speaks. It is she who is ravaging our dominion. Your deception is unbecoming. We are the gatekeepers of the serpent. Sadly, the horseman is blind to the deceit by a demon of greed. Vulgram. <sighs> the notorious aggressor overstayed his welcome and was exiled from the realm. That slimy bastard. She before me won't be so lucky. She has caused too much suffering. The horseman is the one who must pay with her life. I... I understand. Bring your work. Ayano's Keeper of the Void. Uh... I don't like that. Come on! Oh, God in heaven. He can just do that to all... Uh, he has all four of the... This is madness! Hey, maybe I should use one of my actual weapons for this fight. Oh my God. Really?! Oh, I should have spent all those souls. I felt underpowered. I should have. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, 19,274. I didn't drop my souls when I died. Okay! Yeah, sure, let's go with that. The four hollows? Oh my! Now we have all it takes to cleanse the serpent hole. I have. There is no we in I. Is that a saying? No. It is now. Hmm. Just like if Fulgrim is lying about the serpent holes, I'll wear his hide. Oh, we are becoming fast friends, aren't we? Let's skip to the final wave of slaughter. Clearing the serpent holes and filling your pockets with booty. Or justice, whatever grant you the final encounter. You are now pan granted passage into final wing of the void. Keeping up the weird grammar thing right to the end. Access the void in the limbo tab in the serpent's holes in the serpent holes menu. Good evening. This What's up, you silver tongued bastard? Well, I can get a point. I can't math very well. Uh, shut up. You can't prove that, except that it's on video. Um. I used to have a lot of shit during that fight. There they are. Arcane shards. Better than I thought. It says increases the power of arcane abilities. I saw that and I thought, oh, it will increase the damage done by counterattacks. But increases the damage done by everything you charge up. And if you're using an elemental weapon, every strike is better. Even the whip gets stronger and it's not even elemental. 
your wish. <laughs> Shit. You know what I need? I need some souls. You there, I need to fill a hole. Give me your soul. It'll be great. I'm gonna do like that. I get more from fucking smashing stuff now that I have brought balance to that one enhancement. I need to be careful. The last time I came here, the game crashed. I just need souls. The timer is gone. You know, I vividly remember having trouble with this room once upon a time. I don't think that'll be enough. Souls, I mean. Myself. I'm gonna put some polysporin on that and what would you ask of this day. humble merchant? Is this, this enough? Will be fun for both no. Okay, I was actually wish. further away than I thought. I thought I was like within a thousand, you so. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that this, this session is over. Technically, I did set out what I, uh, uh, I did accomplish what I set out to do today. I defeated Abraxas, and I got my hands on the last of the weapons. So now I need to choose between the Edge of Scorn and the Scythes of Scorn. But in order to claim the final prize, it looks like I need to beat Ionos, Keeper of the Void. And, uh... My good friend Ronan Drake said something that, that immediately stuck out in my mind in that warning, warning, danger, Will Robinson kind of way. Oh, this is the one where I actually just fight. He said, uh... What was this DLC called again? I say Keepers of the Void. And he says, oh, okay. And I realized there's going to be something like... I thought it was going to be like, oh, it turns out they're actually keeping something prisoner. That's why they're called keepers or something like that. But when that guy was identified as keepers of the, as keeper of the void, well, that little cleverness from my friend who refuses to confirm things one way or the other in any direction... <laughs> Oh, it was the right one. Tells me that, uh... Well, now it has me worrying there's going to be more than one Ionos. More than one Keeper of the Void. Because the title is in plural. But either way. The Stasis Wing is completed. And I will see you next time on Let's Play Darksiders 3, Burning Dog fans. Later!